the Red Dress campaign, this is go. Welcome to Go. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. Joining me is Stacy Strom. We are here at North Island College for the launch of the Red Dress campaign. Stacy, what was your motivation for bringing the Red Dresses to the campus? As part of a fourth year nursing leadership project, I decided to help create awareness to the murdered and missing women, uh, Aboriginal women in Canada. And when I heard that the Comox Nations and about the Red Dress campaign, we wanted to show our support here on campus. Now, where did you grow up and does that play a role? Yes, I'm um, from northern BC, actually, Terrace originally, which is located on the Highway of Tears. And so this issue is very dear to my heart. Why do you think it's important that we continue to have the Red Dress campaign year after year? I think it's important to create awareness and to start having those conversations so that we can address the underlying causes of these issues, the racism and oppression that's happened and what's making our Aboriginal Canadians targets for these sorts of acts of violence. And in being all part of the society, I think we all have a role in the solution to this. Stacey, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks. On Sunday, the Comox First Nation launched their red dress campaign. Here's a look at that. More information can be found on both Facebook and the internet for the red dress campaign, as well as walking with our sisters. And now, in the community, there is a new interesting project called The Shed. Here is Andrina Kasholti. We have left North Island College and we have now arrived at Coastal Black Estate Winery for Pumpkin Fest 2016. You're watching Go on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. Coming up, an interview with Justine Ludwig about all of the great events happening here for Pumpkin Fest. Right now, we're heading over to Powell River. Welcome back. You're watching Go on Shaw TV Channel 4. As promised, I'm here with Justine Ludwig to talk all about Oktoberfest 2016. Now, we're in the event barn, yeah. and it looks different than last year. Yeah, a little bit different. We, um, we thought, you know what, let's make it a little bit more spacious this year. We pushed the hay bale maze to the back here. Okay. It's still just as big and just as fun. We had lots of kids test it, so <laughs> it's kid approved. Kid approved. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Uncle Dan approved. My husband, oh man, he just loves doing this every year. It's like his baby to construct. So he had a lot of fun doing that. We've okay. got the pumpkin bowling in here and ring toss. And your daughter kicked my butt last year in the pumpkin bowling. I know, bowling. and now you got to see my son, right? <laughs> he just would like chuck those pumpkins down those aisles. <laughs> he can really get them. And we're sitting in the new lounge area. Yeah, we just thought, you know what? Lovely. Let's make a little bail lounge here for people to just come and enjoy and relax. And uh, we have our sit concession. With your hot cocoa and come sit with your hot cocoa. We have a beautiful fireplace that won't really produce heat, but it really makes you feel like you're warm. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it, it just makes you feel kind of like family yeah. around here. And yeah, yeah we want everyone to much. come here with their families and just enjoy and relax. Fabulous. And you have the trebuchet. That's the great big arm that launches. Yeah, pumpkins. you did really well last year launching pumpkins. I'm scared to death. But <laughs> sure. Our record last year was 380 feet, but it was with a spaghetti squash. Oh, so, the little guys. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you can you can launch anything from small, big, medium. Okay. It just depends. You can see it right. smash. And you've got 12 varieties of pumpkins this year. 12 varieties okay. of pumpkin. My favorite this year is called Fairy Tale. They're green and they look like something out of like the movie Cinderella. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. And you also have a corn maze this year. And goats? Uh, yeah, eight acres of corn maze that you can go and explore. Okay. Um, few people never made it out. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we send someone in. They always get out. But no, you can go in and get lost in there. And then the goats are really hilarious. They're jumping on hay bales and oh, stuff. Fine. We have a beautiful new pen for them. They're really, okay. they're having a fun time. Great. So when we come back, we're going to be over in another barn that they're now utilizing. And that's where the photography is going to be. Because yes. you always have a, a photo, photo, booth. photo booth for yeah. families to take advantage of. Yes. For can. Thanksgiving. All right. Totally. Well, that's awesome. And right now, one of the things people love to do in the fall is go for a lovely stroll. Well, here is a trail for which you can do that. 
Welcome back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. With me, Justine Ludwig. We're here at Coastal Black Estate Winery getting ready for Halloween Pumpkin Fest 2016. This is new. This You're is all new. We've okay. gone into a whole new barn, which actually used to be our milking parlor. Okay. And uh, we've got a new setup for the pumpkin photo booth. Okay. Uh, this so year. So this is the photo booth. This it's is a the truck. Photo booth. Yeah, we, it's we've a got a truck. truck. <laughs> the photographer, Annette, from Art Signature Galleries, she actually said to me, I want to do a photo shoot with a truck. Okay. Awesome. It's amazing. Like, I just, I can't even. Well, and so we it's thought, how are we so going to get this in here? So we just decided, well, we've got more barns. Like, <laughs> let's, let's just pick, an pick another one. <laughs> so the last couple of years, it's been over in the event barn, but now they've expanded here. So you can come here down a beautiful little path, come in here and get your family photo taken. You can sit on these milk crates and on this old, looks like a trunk, <laughs> an old suitcase trunk. Amazing. This is so fun. And there's words you can hold up. There's joy and family. there's family and love. Love. So this is got funny so fun. Props, like glasses and mustaches. Oh, anywhere. you can actually do that kind totally. of stuff too. Okay, all right. Not everything's so serious. Not <laughs> everything's so serious. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, so from creating your own memories to now reflecting on some other memories, let's head up to Campbell River and carry high. That would be the goat pen for Billy and. What's the other one's name? Jewel and Daisy May. And Daisy May. I love that name. <laughs> Daisy May. Behind us, way over there, is the trebuchet, the great big arm that throws pumpkins. And then the corn maze. All new corn maze. You just walk through those beautiful signs and through the barn doors, and then you can go get lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's inch and then you've got people that will go in after them and oh, yeah. find them. Okay. We'll make sure everyone's up by the <laughs> end of the night. We don't we, we have a big family live on here. We already have enough people. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need any more. No. <laughs> no volunteers. Um, okay, and when are you open? Every Saturday and Sunday in October from ten AM to four PM, including okay. Thanksgiving Monday. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Have Thank a wonderful you. pumpkin fest two thousand sixteen. Thanks so much for watching Go. Have a great week and we'll see you soon.